this is Jill from Baby Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Um, you're joining me today to make this gorgeous project. This was the card that I posted on my blog yesterday for our Project Share um, blog hop where the theme was celebration. And I had used this um, DSP, which is the reverse side of some of the floral designs in the Dainty Flowers um, pack. Um, so yeah, so I just did a simple squared background and then added some die cut butterflies from the Brilliant Wings um, die set, high from the Alphabet a la mode and then some iridescent pearls just to give it a little bit more bling. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. However, I'm not gonna use the Dainty Flowers um, DSP today. I'm gonna to go completely different colors, colors, some in your face colors here. I'm gonna use these two colors which are Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party from the um, most recent in colours. Um, just to change it up a bit, so do a blue-green version rather than a pink, pinky-purple version. Um, so, what do we need first of all? I'm going to get a piece of a thick, wispel, basic white. Take my trimmer. Oh, I can open it. And then trim this side down to 14 centimetres, which is about five and a half inches. We'll keep trying to give you the inches and the imperial measurements. So that bit can you can be used for die cutting the butterflies and things if you're um, just trying to keep an eye on your budget. And then at 14 again, score. And that will give you a square card blank that is 14 by 14 or five and a half inches by five and a half inches. It's just quite a nice size to work with, I find. Right, and then what I'm going to do is just to trim that other little bit off. So I'm gonna put this in um, at 14 and then just trim where they meet, where that little overlap is, like so. And that's my card blank done. That's my card blank ready. I'm then going to take these two sheets of um, DSP. These are from the family stacks. Um, so there's an in colour pack. There's a pack for each of the families. So bright, subtles, regals and neutrals. Um, and I'm going to chop each. I'm going to chop two squares at six and a half centimetres or it's just over two and a half so it's two and a sixteenth I think um, is the measurement for these so two squares that measure six and a half centimeters like so and then we just do the other color as well turn that around. like so and the other color And a half again and six and a half these are great these family stacks because you can you've got sheets in every color that we do so you can combine different colors really really worthwhile investment um, I love them when a new catalog comes out I always have to have all the packs um, and I don't ever use all of them, I have to say. And so I tend to end up giving away quite a lot of them as customer thank yous and things. But hopefully my team, my customers like receiving those. Um, there we go. But I do like having them in my stash for whatever colour I need. If I had to choose, probably go with brights first. That's my, that's my preferred colour palette. But I know lots of you like the other colour palettes, something a bit more subtle, the subtles or even the regals, and some people even the neutrals, especially now that the neutrals have some actual colours in them. They've got blue and green and sort of dark blue, dark green, dark red in them. Anyway, this is my preferred palette and I thought we'd go really nice and zingy today. I'm feeling a bit like spring is on its way. There's a few bulbs poking their heads up in my garden, so feeling quite optimistic that spring isn't too far away and hopefully we won't have much too much more bad weather before spring finally arrives here in the UK. I know if you're watching in Australia your seasons are back to front with us so trying to think are you in the middle of summer I guess in Australia um, going into autumn fairly soon 
um, which always seems a bit strange to me, but I know it's the case. There we go. So just a tiny border around the edge, about three millimeters, I would say, or probably is that an eighth of an inch, I think. So one there, and then you should have be able to do equidistant um, borders. So this is a very simple little card. Um, no stamping again, have you noticed? Um, don't seem to be doing much stamping these days. I'm using a lot of die cuts for my cards and not too much stamping. There we go. Mm, liking this colour scheme. If it's a bit too bright for you, you could go to the um, subtles. You can still have green and blue, but you could use Pool Party Mint Macaron or something like that, and that would be a much subtler colour scheme. That would be quite pretty as well. Um, there we are. Yeah, like I say, the original card was made with Dainty Flowers DSP because our brief was celebration. But of course, doing this video, I don't have to stick to that brief. So I thought I'd use something different. And I don't actually have hundreds of packs of DSP from the current current, current catalogues. Because like I said, I found that I don't use DSP an awful lot. So I'm trying to buy very judiciously the things that I do use. Right, there we are. And then a bit more gluing. So we have a butterfly to go on there and I'm only going to glue the, the body. This is Tombow liquid or multi-purpose glue, I think it's called in the catalogue. Really great glue, gives you a bit of time to reposition. So if you get it in the wrong place, you can lift and reposition. So there's that one. And again, so I've, I've already die cut these, obviously, from the Brilliant Wings dies. So I've done two of this bigger butterfly. Doesn't want to stick. Um, and two of the smaller ones. There we go. Like so. And because this just says hi, it can be a thank you card. It could be a birthday card. It could be a get well card. It could be anything you want it to be. I quite like cards when they've got this sort of multi-purpose sentiment. You can always put what the occasion is inside. So get well soon or um, this might well be a welcome to my team card because I've had several people join my team this celebration. So I do need to get on with making packs for them. So this might go to one of them, but inside it will say welcome to the team. But on the front, all it needs to say is hi. So here we go. Just a little bit of glue on the back. This is cut with the alphabet a la mode. Alphabet, which is lovely and should be in everybody's stash because this is going to be re a really useful set to have. There we go. And then the finishing touch was just some iridescent pearls. You could use normal pearls, you could use rhinestones. I'm using these iridescent pearls because I've got them and I'm not sure I'm going to use them all up. So I thought I'd take the, the chance to use them. So what I tend to do is do them in groups of three. So two, so a big one and a little one. And then maybe another little one down there. And then a big one and a little one. Maybe a big one down there. And then finally, uh, let's put a big one up there and then we'll do a big one and a little one down here. So just scatter them. And that, that, that grouping of three just is quite somehow appealing to the eye. And that's it done. That's a very, very quick video today. I know I've done some of the die cutting beforehand, but a very quick um, video. So you can see how quickly you could put these cards together. If you needed to make them en masse, um, could be very, very quick. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Just very quickly. So the Dainty, pa Dainty Flowers paper that I used here is a free product with Celebration. So you spend £45 and you get a pack of this paper free. And I've got to just grab another card. This is another card. This is the other side of one of those sheets. So 
um, that's really pretty. I've made quite a lot of other cards. I don't know if I've got them to hand. I don't think I have. Um, but I've made quite a lot of other cards with the dainty flowers for you to see if you wanted to have a look at my blog through my blog or my videos. Um, but there's other things been added to the celebration offering as well now. There's um, things from the annual catalogue. So do have a look. I'll be doing a blog post about it quite soon. So just have a check out of my blog. Um, but that's it from me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I um, hope you enjoyed the card. Very simple little card, as, as I am, a very simple crafter. Um, and I'll be back really soon with another project for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.